franchise software, developers Behemoth Farming Simulator franchise, has announced the formation of its new official, eSports League, for Farming Simulator 19. This is a pretty interesting development, given that most traditional eSports leagues are formed around multiplayer, shooters are battle arenas, like Overwatch, a League of Legends. This could also open up the possibility for more unconventional leagues to crop up, as well, as explained in a blog post. The appropriately titled Farming Simulator League features 10 teams, competing over a series of tournaments across Europe, with the season's total prize pool adding up to 250. We have a unique opportunity, explains CEO of Giants Software and manager of the sports division Christian Amon. Competitive farming is something people enjoy for years now, but it has not been an in esports so far. We have lots of esports enthusiasts in our company who cannot wait to show the world that farming can indeed be fun and competitive at the same time. This year's league will take place in Farming Simulator 19 with a new 3v3 mode, although it is not clear what the details are. Besides moving on from competitive bail stacking, according to Amon, it will stand to toy its roots in farming and combine real field work like harvesting with fun and challenging game elements. There's no telling if competitive farming will take root in the realm of esports, but it will be interesting to see whether you are just starting out, looking for something new, or just seeing what's out there. The Garnet Sutri job board is the place where game developers move ahead in their careers. The more Sutra's job board is the most diverse, most active, and most established board of its kind in the video game industry. Serving companies of all sizes, from indie to triple. Here are just some of the many, many positions being advertised right now. If you are a recruiter looking for talent, you can also post jobs here. Location: Broadway, New South Wales, Australia. War Gaming Sydney is seeking a passionate lead game designer to join our professional team and deliver fresh experiences for players. Our projects offer development challenges across wide spectrum, presenting unique opportunities for developers from all backgrounds. Being a lead game designer at Wargaming Sydney means more than designing games. We have to understand the experience we want to create for players, and then design the game features or changes required to bring this experience into reality. From prototyping new concepts to balancing gameplay, designing systems, or crafting groundbreaking mechanics, your work will have the potential to inspire gamers and designers for years to come. Comprehensive design sensibilities, problem solving, actual execution, and consider communication are our tools of the trade as we strive to bring new experiences to our audience. Location. Los Angeles, California. As a Magnapus experience engineer, you will work on cutting edge experiences, which connect people to each other on the world around us in order to feel touched, inspired, educated, and entertained. We are looking for people who love to apply new technology to solve impossible problems, building bridges between the real world and the digital world. The position is full-time, and is using the latest technology from Oculus Quest to Magic Leap to custom modified Live Pro headsets, running on custom-built PCs, and anywhere in between. Location, Raleigh, North Carolina. Imagine Studios is looking for a talented individual to fill multiple open-game artist positions, environment, character, 3D generalist. R D C O N C E P T. This position will be responsible for developing visual assets for the temporary brand. Depending on your specialization, 
you will feel septualizedly and create environments, characters, concepts, animations, and RBFX for Remanji Studios, mobile games. The ideal candidate will have a strong portfolio and experience in the mobile game space. Location, London, Ontario, Canada. Digital Extremes is looking for an environment artist with at least one year of industry experience to utilize traditional art training and knowledge of 3D art designed on the computer graphics software to build efficient, high-quality 3D models using next-generation techniques, such as normal mapping and advanced shaders. Translate to do concepts into 3D reality including modeling, texturing, of mapping, etc. Though the supervision of the art director and lead artist, and work closely with the art director and lead artist to understand the creative direction as well as ensure the successful execution of the game's visual design as a part of its candidate-based team, location, Redwood City, California, the gameplay camera designer, working under the lead cinematic designer, and on the game director, will be responsible for designing, implementing, and fine-tune the game design cameras, and related game playing levels, and cinematics to ensure a smooth and seamless player experience, through a rich and epic narrative experience, the successful camera designer, will be able to collaborate with artists and designers to create tools and camera solutions to create a dynamic and living world. I keep writing about deep gameplay and how it needs complex verbs, I, E, mechanisms that go beyond probabilities, progress borders and damage numbers. But how exactly do those systems work though? This article will explore one possible answer to this question. Space gameplay can get strategically interesting when you cannot simply calculate everything. I, E. When factors are involved that cannot, or at least not easily, be turned into some kind of points, or score, if that would be possible, you would basically be facing a math puzzle, of course. That might be interesting in itself, but rather in terms of computing the correct solution, and not so much in terms of intuition and decision making. Should the latter elements be supposed to be the game's core, offering strong spatial interactions can go a long way in moving it away from flat arithmetic positioning and movement in space, or even aspects such as momentum or. Inertia are essentially complex resources that can, quite literally, be played with. Obviously they are ultimately based on math as well, but a form of math that is both more complex than mere subtraction, and yet also intuitively accessible for human beings. This base complexity can furthermore be used to foster an emergent interplay between gameplay elements and thereby create even more depth, without having to resort to more and more convoluted math. Of course it works in the game. I. E. The actions players are able to perform, have to be tightly connected to the game's spatial structure, so they can properly support it, and give it meaning. Dueling damage, feeling bars, are the much loved mass extermination of actors in the game world, you really do not belong in this category. The same goes for mere asset tourism. The following sections will take a look at some concrete examples on how to do it better. The games described below offer strongly spatial possibilities of interaction and consistently manage to align the design of all gameplay elements in support of this aspect. In heat signature you enter procedurally generated spaceships and, by making use of a diverse set of gadgets, try to reach a specific target object or person. Almost everything in the game is centered on movement. For example, there are multiple types of teleport gadgets that e G allow you to swap positions with the enemy, swap a 
to instantly move through open corridors, armed doors, side rounded, or to jump to any position within a certain radius. A short amount of time, visitor, the king cloner, lets you stick a card if the god carrying them is in range, luring enemies into the glitch trap, will move them to another spot, often directly into outer space, and the slipstream makes everyone act super slowly except for yourself. More agility, more options. These are just a few examples of the words in the game, but one thing is pretty clear already. There is no flat number crunching. Enemies, just like your avatar.